The gentle hum of the airplane's engines provided a soothing backdrop to an otherwise tense scene among the passengers. Tension simmered just below the surface. It was an early morning flight from Atlanta to New York, and the cabin was nearly full. The mixture of business travelers and families created a diverse atmosphere, but one interaction would soon stand out. Welcome to Nice Time Channel. Before we dive deeper into the story, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to join us on more inspiring journeys like this one. Robert Miller, an elderly black man with a distinguished air, boarded the plane, his steps slow but steady. Robert, a retired school principal, was on his way to visit his grandchildren. He found his seat, 12C, an aisle seat that would provide easy access. Beside him was a young woman named Emily, who sat in 12B. She was in her early 20s, dressed casually with earbuds in and her feet stretched out occupying part of Robert's seat area. Robert approached, his face showing signs of the long years he had lived. He politely tapped Emily on the shoulder to get her attention. She pulled out one earbud, looking up with a hint of annoyance. Excuse me, miss, but could you please move your feet so I can sit down? Robert asked politely. Emily barely glanced at him before rolling her eyes and moving her feet slightly. Robert managed to sit down, but her feet remained intrusively close, clearly showing a lack of respect. As the flight attendants moved through the cabin preparing for takeoff, one of them, a woman named Laura, noticed the situation. Laura had been working for the airline for over a decade and had a keen sense for conflict brewing among passengers. She approached Robert and Emily with a friendly smile. Good morning, dears. Can I help you with anything? Laura asked, sensing the tension. Robert smiled up at her. No, thank you. I'm fine he said, though his eyes betrayed his discomfort. Emily, on the other hand, didn't even bother to acknowledge Laura. She kept her eyes on her phone, her feet still encroaching into Robert's space. Laura frowned slightly, deciding to address the issue directly. Miss, could you please move your feet? We need to make sure everyone is comfortable and has their personal space. Emily looked up, irritation clear on her face. I'm comfortable just like this. Why should I move my feet? Laura's expression remained calm, though her eyes hardened slightly. It's a matter of respect and courtesy. Please move your feet. Emily huffed, but reluctantly moved her feet, placing them flat on the floor. Laura thanked her and moved down the aisle to continue her duties, but she kept an eye on the situation. As the plane took off, Robert tried to relax but couldn't help but feel the disrespect emanating from his seatmate. Emily's attitude weighed heavily on him, reminding him of the many instances of subtle racism and disrespect he had faced throughout his life. Halfway through the flight, Robert needed to stretch his legs. He stood up slowly, using the armrest for support. When he returned, he found Emily's feet back in his space. He sighed deeply his patience wearing thin. Excuse me again, miss. Could you please move your feet so I can sit down? Robert asked, his voice still calm but with a hint of frustration. Emily glared at him. Why don't you sit somewhere else? There are plenty of other seats. Before Robert could respond, Laura appeared again, having noticed the altercation. Is there a problem here? She asked, her tone firmer this time. He's just being difficult, Emily said dismissively. I don't see why I have to move my feet. Laura's eyes flashed with anger, but she kept her composure. Miss, this gentleman has the right to sit in his assigned seat without being crowded. This is about respect and following simple rules. Emily crossed her arms defiantly. I don't see what the big deal is. He's just being old and cranky. Robert's face tightened at her words, a mixture of hurt and anger flashing through his eyes. Laura, however, decided that enough was enough. She knelt down to Robert's level, speaking softly. Mr. Miller, would you mind coming with me for a moment? I'd like to offer you a more comfortable seat. Robert nodded, grateful for her kindness. 
As he stood, Laura turned to Emily. Stay right here. I'll be back to talk to you in a moment. Laura escorted Robert to an empty seat in first class, ensuring he was settled comfortably. I apologize for the inconvenience, Mr. Miller. Please enjoy the rest of your flight. Robert thanked her, feeling a wave of relief and gratitude. Laura then returned to coach class where Emily was waiting, now looking slightly uneasy. Miss, Laura began, her voice steady but stern. Your behavior is unacceptable. Disrespecting another passenger, especially someone elderly, is not tolerated. I'm going to ask you to come with me. Emily's bravado began to falter as she realized the seriousness of the situation. Laura led her to the back of the plane, where the flight crew had a small seating area. I want you to understand the impact of your actions, Laura said firmly. You've shown a complete lack of respect and common decency. You'll stay here for the rest of the flight and I'll be reporting this incident to the airline's management. Emily's face turned pale as the weight of Laura's words sank in. She nodded mutely, realizing there was no arguing her way out of this. The rest of the flight proceeded without incident. When the plane landed, Laura made sure to personally escort Robert off the plane, ensuring he was comfortable and had everything he needed. Emily, on the other hand, was met by airport security and airline officials who would further address her behavior. Robert's story didn't end there. Word of the incident spread among the passengers, and soon a video taken by another traveler went viral on social media. It highlighted not just the disrespect shown to Robert, but also Laura's firm and compassionate handling of the situation. Support poured in from across the country, with many praising Laura for her actions. The airline commended her for upholding their values and treating all passengers with dignity and respect. For Robert, the experience, though unpleasant, reaffirmed his belief in the goodness of people. The support and kindness he received reminded him that respect and decency still mattered, and there were those willing to stand up for what was right. Emily, after facing the consequences of her actions, reflected on her behavior. The public backlash and the intervention from airline officials served as a wake-up call. She realized the importance of empathy and respect, vowing to change her attitude towards others. In the end, the incident on the plane became a powerful lesson in humanity. It reminded everyone that no matter how small the space or how fleeting the encounter, respect and kindness should always be at the forefront of our actions. And for Robert, it was a reminder that even in the face of disrespect, dignity and resilience would always prevail. From this story, we can learn several key lessons. First, it highlights the importance of basic human decency and respect for others, especially for the elderly. The incident underscores that small acts of rudeness can have significant emotional impacts and that everyone deserves to be treated with dignity. Second, it shows the power of standing up for what is right. Laura, the flight attendant, demonstrated courage and empathy by intervening and ensuring that Robert was treated with the respect he deserved. Her actions not only resolved the immediate conflict, but also sent a powerful message about the importance of kindness and fairness. Lastly, the story serves as a reminder that our actions have consequences. Emily's behavior and the subsequent public backlash highlight the need for self-reflection and the potential for personal growth and change. Have you ever witnessed or experienced a situation where someone stood up for another person in need? How did it impact you or change your perspective? Share your story in the comments below.